crossed back over to Baja. We're coming in the outskirts of Isla Carmen. We'll be anchoring around Bahia Salinas is our plan. It was a pretty quick sail overnight. We were doing pretty much our hull speed the whole night. We were about 7.5 to, to 7.8 knots. Not much slowing down. Uh, early this morning we're back down to the sixes. Winds died off a lot now as we got close to the island. We're back down to like three knots over ground. I was pretty sick uh, yesterday from just before we left the boatyard. Um, all through tonight and today. I think I got a bit of food poisoning from something. So Hillary's been taking care of everything here. Dishes, food, running the ship. We didn't even keep track of hours for watches, I don't think, so I'm sure Hillary did a few more. Now she's filleting our first fish catch. Caught like three or four fish this morning, two small little baby skipjacks, I think. Uh, now we've got a big, good size skipjack, black skipjack tuna. I don't remember how to do it. Long sandy beach we had in Greece. Chap two. The leap in it. Time to go test out our dinghy and see how it holds up. Now we've got the repairs done. We're gonna go dive this wreck out here. 1981, apparently a big 120 foot tuna boat. Went down in a storm or something. I don't know. 35 feet of water should be a nice easy dive. Uh, let's go see how it all goes. Yeah. After spending the last two long months on dry land, it felt so good to be back in the water. On the bottom, we set off in search of the wrecked boat, following the debris scattered across the ocean floor. With this being our first time diving a wreck, we really didn't know what to expect. This particular boat seemed to be well on its way to being taken back by the ocean, and it was hard to identify most parts of the boat. Its slowly decomposing and corroding frame did make for a lovely artificial reef that was now home to many fish. Pretty nice view looking through it. We're here at Bahia Salinas on Isla Carmen, which used to be a giant salt mining operation up until the 80s. We're inside the old school, or the offices maybe next to the school. interesting ground we're walking on it's kind of squishy it's 
squishy and wet. I think it might be a bit below water level. I'm guessing that's why they've got the big salt lagoon out here. There's probably yeah. still seepage that comes through because it looks kind of dry, but we're sinking in and <laughs> slipping and sliding a bit. So at first look, it might seem like we're uh, doing some role play and practicing our pirate scenarios, but we're not. It's just been under the weather. Uh, great, great sail. We just left out of Bahia Salinas here on Isla Carmen, and we've got a reefed main still and a staysail out. And what are we doing? 6.2. 6.2 over ground. So we don't know if our sailing skills just improved dramatically while we're on the hard. Or if it's because of our nice new clean bottom, but we've been flying the last few uh, sails here. Yeah. So we're excited. We're going to head into Puerto Escondido today. One of my favorite things about early morning sails we're pretty much always guaranteed to catch a fish, especially on our way out of a out of a bay, and just first thing in the morning. It seems to be the perfect time. So right after we get under sail and head out, we chuck out the lines. Probably within 20 minutes or something like that, we had a good sized fish. It's the same kind we get a lot. Um, it's uh, probably I don't think it's a bonita. I think it's a bit too big, but I think it's a skipjack. It doesn't look like a black skipjack, just a regular skipjack tuna. Great fish though, and that'll that's awesome because that'll feed us for another few days. We've still got half of the fish from the other day in, in the fridge. And we're heading into a port now too where it, it's not as clean, so we don't, you know, the fishing isn't as great and all that sort of stuff. So it's good to have something in the fridge now that we can sustain ourselves on for a few more days. It'll be pretty sweet. So as any good bloke would do when, when his lady there is feeling a little bit under weather, you'd have her fillet in the fish, right? So that's what she's doing, she's filling them right now. Back here, this is the uh, Baja Meme. Right here in front of it, this is Isla Dan Dante. Way down right between there. So, this is the bottom point here of uh, Isla Carmen. Dan Dante, we're going to up and around there, chuck a left, and then right behind there is Puerto Escondido. And that's where we're going to head tonight. Laredo being yeah, back up that way somewhere. After tacking our way back and forth through the islands, we arrived into the beautiful, protected harbor of Puerto Escondido. In the morning, we awoke to a dramatic sky full of ominous clouds. Picked up and go see Seattle. 
right, Hillary's over here in the CONAP office getting our national park permits renewed. Did a bit of running around here in Laredo. We're about to head off. We're going to be at sea over Christmas, but we needed to renew some permits. Our fishing licenses we got renewed for a year, and this here is our... We just paid for our new national park permit. Yep, and we'll need that when we head out towards the uh, Riviera. Riviera Hejedos, <laughs> well, any of the islands here. Socorro Islands, need it true, too. yeah. So we're going to get that fixed, uh, fixed up. But... <laughs> Loreto National Park. <laughs> Probably dropped our mooring this morning at Puerto Escondido, about 4 a.m. Uh, right now, just passed through the candlesticks off the bottom of Isla Danzante, probably a couple of miles back. Right behind me here is uh, Isla Montserrat. We're gonna go around the south end of Montserrat and head straight out to Santa Catalan. Or Catalan, I think it's Catalan, yeah. And we're gonna check that place out for a few days before heading south. There's a norther coming in on Thursday evening and it's what, Tuesday morning right now. So we'd like to be down a little bit further south and better protected for the norther and a nice little anchorage there before we uh, make our way across to Puerto Vallarta. Yeah, be sweet. It's been some really crazy weather the last few days. I had some strong southerlies, which is kind of strange for this time of year, I guess. And it was very cool, cool weather, really cloudy, uh, overcast. Quite a bit of moisture in the air up in the mountains. Now though, it looks like today might be a pretty nice day. We're expecting nice little consistent north-northwesters, 10 to 15 knots if we're lucky. Beautiful sunrises just starting to come up behind Montserrat back there. And the light back here on the hills over Baja is gorgeous. We're, we're gonna miss that. Just crazy steep mountains and the light is always magical on there. An exciting morning already. Hillary jumped in the water. We wrapped our fishing line around the uh, prop actually. So she jumped in, came off really quick. And now we've raised the main, we shook the reef out. We've got uh, wing and wing, full main and full Genoa out. Because we're on our way for our Christmas jaunt over to Puerto Vallarta. We're probably gonna be somewhere in the ocean for Christmas. And we've got a special package on board here. And my daughter Sienna's back on board for a week or two. 10 days, yeah. She's gonna get some real sea legs on her, so uh, we'll see how we go out in the ocean. Here's what Hillary looks like after a swim first thing in the morning. How you doing? Good. Surprisingly not that cold compared to what the weather's been the last few days, so the water's still not too chilly. Quite the adventure already. First trip to shore, aborted. Went for our shore excursion and we've got a problem right now because our oar lock broke yesterday the or the other day. Yeah. Oh, our oar lock stand, which we've got to fix and we're limited to what we could find. What we found won't quite fit what we've got. So we're gonna have to do a bit of a modification. And the motor died about 10 feet away from the boat and, and we floated over there. Yeah, it's pretty strong wind right now. We've got wind. like 15 to 20 knots of wind. So we paddled to a rock with uh, Sienna and Hillary here, I jumped in and they helped paddle while I towed us back over to the boat. Now it's time to figure out the motor problem. Yeah, and see if we can make it to shore. See if we can <laughs> go to shore and maybe do the oarlocks locks today earlier than expected. With Sienna as his assistant, Ty got to work tearing the outboard motor apart and trying to diagnose what the problem was. All right, dinghy motor is mostly fixed, kind of fixed. It's yeah. working-ish. It works like it did before, so choke thing's still weird, and uh, now we've got to adjust the idle again. But and we're on 
We're on shore at Isla Catalan? Catalina? One of those. Isla Catalan. Isla Catalan. Or Catalina, yeah. There's supposed to be a rattleless rattlesnake here that we kind of want to find, maybe we don't want to find. You've got to listen really carefully. I we heard hear look yet. up, but they're not always on the ground, we heard. So, I don't know. Which means they're in a cactus, apparently. <laughs> Which doesn't really make sense. Hugs? Hugs. After receiving a warning from the National Park Office about the abundance of the endemic rattleless rattlesnakes, we carefully tiptoed through the hillside, trying to stick to the rocky open areas. We never did see a snake, but we did take in some beautiful views as the sun slipped down towards the horizon. Another gorgeous morning. The cause of yesterday's drama back there on Arjuna, the uh, motor. We were out here, we left the boat and we started drifting that way pretty fast. So we hand paddled to these rocks where we grabbed on in between swells so I could jump in in my undies and tow the boat back uh, over to here, tow the dinghy over here. Um, I gave, it a, gave the carburetor a clean out and kind of played around with that for a while and then it turns out the big fix was a new spark plug so the old spark plug had gone bad and that seemed to be the, the, the fix on it. I've got to adjust the idle still, it's idling too high now and I still, I still have a choke issue which I don't know what the heck the problem with that is. I think it's still got something to do with the float but I'm going to have to wait till I get some uh, internet or something to do a bit more research on that. Came ashore again here over at San Catalan Island and we found this nice little arroyo. We're gonna wander up it and see where it leads. As we walked into the island, we were amazed by the amount of absolutely giant cactus. Some were easily 30 to 40 feet tall with lots of arms, making up a whole cactus forest. These were Cardone cactus, and they were obviously quite healthy living on this isolated desert island. Got a little skip track on the line, we just let off and trying to stay warm. It's a very cloudy day today. Last night was one of our less common practices. We uh, motor sailed a good part of the night, the wind died. We had the spinnaker out for a little while, pulled out, but then it, it finally kind of died for good. Nobody here had much sleep except for this one. I'm wearing a Santa hat apparently, I just noticed that. It's almost Christmas. It is, it is. Actually, it's my sister's birthday today and in Australia. And it's the first day of winter, the winter equinox here. That's right, the or the longest day in Australia, longest day of the year. But here, where we are, shortest day. Thank goodness, because the sun comes up really late, goes down really early now, 
and today we don't even see the sun because it's so cloudy. Anyway, we've got the uh, Genoa out. We're kind of close hauled right now, actually. The wind's like southeast. Yeah. But we're trying to get into Isla San Francisco before this evening. There's supposed to be a really strong norther that's coming in tonight. Uh, probably by around 5, 6, 7 o'clock tonight, there'll be a strong 25, 30 knots, which is probably fine, but the seas get kind of crazy out here. So we're going to head in. We've got a, a problem we just noticed right here. There's an island. Sienna just stated that we're heading straight for it. We should probably turn before we hit it. Raining. Rainy morning. That's all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and check out the links down below to see how you can help keep these videos coming. Until next time, adios. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Sienna. <laughs> and who are you, Sienna? I'm your kid. <laughs> <laughs> no. Cool. What up, Monica? And what do you do here on Varuna besides sleep? What's your job? I don't have a job. You don't clean the toilet? You don't tell me to do anything. Do you cook breakfast? No. Do you sleep through breakfast? Yes. Do you eat the breakfast? Yes. That's a good thing. Somebody's got to eat the food. <laughs>